birds in the uh, brooder right now. I got uh, 9,000 left. We just finished driving a little under 1,700 miles, or about 2,700 kilometers, to get to this pheasant farm. They told us they had a serious rat infestation that they had been battling for over 10 years but never could get under control. During this time of year, all the pheasants are kept inside, but in a couple months, when the pheasant chicks are old enough to live outside in the weather, these large flight pens would be full of young pheasants. We were walked through the empty pheasant pens and shown where they had seen the most rats. I was quickly becoming concerned, as all the sign I was seeing was very old. I assumed the rat population had taken a recent plunge, or had possibly moved to a different part of the farm. So we got the dogs out to see if they could sniff out the rats. Gypsy. Boss. Bindi. Leia. Dogs. Where is it? I raised it up and take that. We're starting on the first one on that skid side. The other ones weren't hitting on it, but she likes it. You still like it or are you gonna change your mind? Like something in there. What do they do with mice? Same thing. They shouldn't, but sometimes when they're bored, they will hit mice. Yeah. They're not supposed to, though. Yeah, there goes a mouse. They hit so many things that if they get bored, they'll just start hitting on whatever's alive. The mouse just ran it's around the mouse. side there. So it is mice, then. That's why only one dog's hitting it. It's because they know better than she's. She's the more likely one to hit stuff she's not supposed to. So. You saw a mouse, you said? Yeah, yeah. right there. And that's what it is. That explains why the rest of the dogs left it. Uh-uh, where is it? Uh-uh, uh-uh. Where is it? Yeah, I can see little mouse holes up under the feeder. Where is it? Yeah, that explains why they all moved on. She stayed. She's more likely to get trash. Ask your dogs, where is it? Actually, it's all out the other day. Come out here and plant them the other day, and they're going to use the motor for Where is it? Come on! Uh -uh. There's a whole bunch of them right there. We're not yeah. mousing. Uh uh! Lay it! No! There's, I can see old rat holes here. There's a mouse running around. There's a collapsed. No, maybe not. Yeah, there's some collapsed rat holes. You guys all mousing? To my frustration, the dogs, especially Leia, kept marking the numerous mice and voles around the farm. This was annoying because the farmer didn't really care about the mice. Pheasants will eat small rodents like mice, so as soon as the pheasants started filling the pens up, they would quickly just become pheasant snacks. The rats, on the other hand, are far too large and aggressive for a pheasant to kill. The very presence of these small rodents was more than just annoying because they were distracting the dogs. The bigger issue was they were strong evidence that there weren't going to be very many rats found in that area of the farm. Rats are highly predatory on rodents smaller than themselves and typically wipe out populations of small rodents. The fact that we were seeing so many mice showed that the rats must be gone or at least in a different area of the farm. I just seen some. What day did I plant? I just can't believe leaving them feeders there. But... Would they have went down to the other feeders when it started raining? I don't know. The way the mice are acting, 
they're desperate. Like they're absolutely desperate. Those places they're hiding are the stupidest places, they, but it's the only dry. So the rats would be in the same boat. And basically, yeah, these these are little though. These look like voles. Yeah, those are voles. That's not rats. Three hours later. Oh, you know, I wonder if we could even flush them out of there with water. I mean, it wouldn't drown them out, but it might make them want to move. Turn. She'll throw some dirt down. <laughs> we get that flooding right up just the other side of that drain pipe over there. That's where the nest first kicked in. Right here? Yeah, right over there somewhere. Let that start flooding out. Push them. <coughs> so, oh, that's moving. Too. Bouncing, watch, yeah. Watch. Oh, just flushed. Did you watch? Look at this one. That one's oh. over there moving too, yeah. There's a rat right here. Right here. There's a rat underneath the water. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, that's a big one. It's wanting to come this way. I don't know that it can, though. Bindi, where did you go? Come here, sweetheart. Bindi, yeah, come here. Yeah, here it comes. Here, baby. Here. Gypsy's seeing it. Yeah. Oh, man, got it. Good job. Good job. Stay here. Don't go anywhere. Stay here. Good girl. That's good dog. Yeah, I'm going to come out. Good girl. Stay here. Just don't want to pat it down the plate, daughter. Good girl. Not the other side. That's good girl. That's good dog. After catching this one single rat, we spent several more hours trying to find other rats, but to no avail. We lifted each and every feeder, but all we saw was mice, which like we mentioned earlier was just further evidence that there wasn't any more rats on the farm. We talked for a while, trying to figure out where the rats could have possibly disappeared to. The farmer knew he had rats before we came, and he had them for over 10 years. There were times when he was shooting as many as 50 rats a day without so much as putting a dent in the population. He had also tried poisons and traps, but nothing seemed to keep the rat population down with any success. So where did the rats suddenly go? The farmer mentioned that he'd seen a wild mink sneaking into his pheasant pens for about a month before we came. Fortunately, all the pheasant pens were empty during this time of year, or else the mink would have massacred his pheasants. But with the pens being empty, could it be possible the mink was killing all of the rats instead? We will never know the answer for sure, but the fact that his farm was suddenly rat free when it had been infested for over 10 years leads me to think the possibility that this wild mink could have cleaned out the rats before we got there. If the farmer was keeping a larger livestock, something a mink wouldn't bother, then it would be more than welcome to stay around and keep the rats away. But mink are voracious predators on pheasants, who will kill piles of birds in a single night. So even though this particular mink provided a wonderful service by possibly keening out the rat infestation, it wouldn't be welcome to stay around once the pheasants were released into the flight pens. After spending most of the day unsuccessfully looking for rats, we decided to come back at night with a spotlight to see if we could have any luck finding rats in the dark. The next morning we were out in the woods bordering the pheasant pens, trying one last ditch effort to see if we could find any rats that might be hiding in the woods. Lay a hit on a hole that was obviously too big to be from a mouse or vole. She and the other dogs were also clearly more excited than they were about any of the mice they had found. I had been discouraging the dogs from chasing mice, and for the most part they were starting to ignore them. So when Leia began digging at this hole, I was excited with the prospect that they may have finally found another rat. Oh, 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 there we go. Outside, out, 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 out. It's a mole. Wrong species, dog. Uh-uh. No. Uh-uh, no. 
don't bite me. Oh my gosh, they are cute. Well, there goes my proud moment. I was going to be so proud of them finding rats out in the middle of this woods. They were just excited it was something new. And just some cute little vol moles. Not voles, moles. I think I should take these home for all of us cute little pets. Look at these cute little things. Oh, they're so cute. I wonder if they bite. They haven't got me yet. Doesn't mean they can't. Oh, they're so cute. Look at this. Look at their funny little feet. And their little funny noses. Oh, and they're silvery soft. I'm going to take these home to Olive. She will just love these things. Uh-uh, no. Definitely got to go get some rats now. We got to give them some positive. These poor dogs. Me being all mean to them. We're fine and stuff. Let's go get them some rats. And give them a lot of praise. <laughs> Alrighty, so we just made a big long trip out here to get some rats caught. We were told they had hundreds if not thousands of rats. They'd been shooting as many as 50 in a day. So let me give you an idea of how far we drove. We drove further than if you were to leave London, UK and drive to Kiev, Ukraine. We drove farther than that. And literally we only caught one. I was struggling to find a way to make a lem some lemonade out of this big lemon that we were handed. Dogs just kept being distracted by mice, namely Gypsy and Leia. Bindi is a lot easier to work with than these little terriers. She quickly understands, oh, you don't want me to find mice? Okay, I won't. You just tell her once or twice and she's good. But terriers like Gypsy and Leia, I guess Leia's only half terrier, but you know, she's, she's got the mind of a terrier. They really struggle to, uh, listen sometimes finally i realized you know what one day i'm going to run into this again i want these dogs to not pay any attention to mice and just focus on rats for the last two days i've been doing training to teach these dogs namely gypsy and leia to ignore the mice and look for the rats ignore the mice look for the rats so we just kept them in little cages and they'd find the cage and i pat them up get them all excited for finding it but now i feel like they're pretty solid two days of work They've been ignoring the mice and finding the rats really good. So we turned the rats loose. They're in this pen behind us hiding in the long grass somewhere. Now we're going to see if the dogs can find it. I sure hope they can because that's going to be an awkward situation for me to come to remove the rats and I planted too. So we'll see if we can find them. I think they can. They were pretty solid on the cages. So let's go see how they do. Where is it? Dogs. Ask your dogs. Ask your dogs, where is it? Now remind you, there are mice and voles like every four or five feet here. So everywhere they sniff, there's a mouse or a vole about every, I don't know, maybe every 20 feet to every 10 feet like it is totally infested with mice it looks like Bindi's already on one so so much for them being off of them let's watch and see if she's on a mouse so this is nowhere near where the rat were planted so let's see what they do so much for my confidence in the not mousing let's see what happens oh, where is it that's good dogs where is it Course, they've had an hour to run there's a chance they're in a different place but well, they've left it that's a good thing to see what you got baby what you got big girl where is it ask your dogs where is it
Hey, it's a good girl. Where is it? Where is it? Girl, where is it? Where is it? Like, am I doing it? Am I doing Yeah, yep, it went right there, right under him. Sweet. It went right. Yep. Oh, I see it, I see it, yep. Yeah. 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 So it's in this pile right there. So Leia found it again, and then it just went between her legs. Now Leia's sniffing where it ran. Leia's right on it. Did you get it? This, this grass lets them like walk right out uh -huh. under their nose. Because they'll they'll bite at it, but the, it's like under this layers. Oh, she's got it. Gypsy's got it. Daddy good girl. Daddy good girl. Daddy good girl. Oh, daddy good girl. Oh, daddy good dog. Yeah, daddy good girl. Out, out. Oh, there's a good girl. Oh, there's a good girl. Yeah, there's a good girl. Out, out. Gypsy, out. There's a good girl. Oh, there's a good girl. Oh, there's a good girl. Oh, there's a good girl. Yeah. Oh, that's good dogs. That's good dogs. Okay, out, out. That's good dogs. That's good dogs. And you can see we used one about the size of a mouse. So they weren't looking for something bigger. It was just a different scent. So uh, we wanted them to uh, differentiate by smell, not by size. Bindi, bring it here. Good girl. Bring it here. Good dogs. Yes. Good dogs. That's good dogs. Yes. Good dogs. Good dog. Gypsy with the find. And the catch. Good dog. Good girl. That's a good girl. Alrighty, we got one more just like it. And here's the here's the thing. I mean, look at this field. Look how much area they have to cover. And there's gotta be at least a hundred mice and voles, if not two or three hundred, in this area. So they've gotta pass 50, 60, 100, 200 mice and voles to find two rats in this whole acre pen covered with grass. So let's see if they can find the next one. Ask your dogs, ask your dogs, where is it? There's a shot right there. I think it caught the two. There were two mice that came running around, out, right out from under their feet. They went right by. So oh, good. Okay, I found it. But here she's got it. I don't know if she's caught it, but she's found it. Ask it, dogs. Ask it, dogs. 
That's good, dogs. Did she got it? She might actually have it. Yeah. Oh, that's good, girl. Oh, that's good, girl. Lay it for number two. That's a good, girl. Oh, that's a good, girl. Yeah, that's a good dog. Oh, that's a good dog. Yeah, that's good, dogs. Oh, that's a good, girl. Oh, that's a good, girl. Good dogs. Good dogs. Yeah, that's good, dogs. Yeah, that's good, dogs. That's good, dogs. So overall, pretty good job. It was difficult. I mean, this is a lot of area for two little rats, a lot of places to hide and a lot of distractions. Um, I noticed, though they weren't perfect on, on not being distracted, you'd see them get distracted for a moment at stuff, but then they would abandon and keep searching for rats. So definitely a huge improvement. Uh, they could use some more work before I'd say they're perfect, but definitely a huge improvement from last time. They're at least ignoring stuff uh, most of the time. So good job to all my dogs. Hope we're able to somehow turn this big lemon into some lemonade. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll show you more next time. Let's go. That's good dog. That's good dog.